Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. Today we're going to be showing off playable Ultra Greed and I am risking my 16 streak for this bad boy. So he better be <laughs> he better be good. Anyways, I've, I've sort of looked into this character a little bit. I'll go for a few details now from what the developer has told me. Just so that you guys know, this character is currently unreleased, still in development and the sprite work is not finished yet. It is still underway. But the uh, creator wanted me to showcase it nonetheless. So yes, this is Ultra Greed. Uh, Ultra Greed starts with 33 coins, but his, stat his stats scale with those coins. You're going to be a bit weaker at 33 coins, um, and you're going to be about twice as strong at 99. He has a coin shot, uh, so he'll be able to get some more coins naturally. Um, and he can't have soul hearts picking up uh, or gaining soul hearts will transform them into coins he starts with a silver dollar and keeper's bargain smelted so there's gonna be shops in the womb he has a pocket active called coin toss where he can toss different types of coins that cost various amounts of money uh, and yeah he seems really really cool really really cool so we're just gonna jump in and try him out he seems like he'll be a like a reasonably i wouldn't say easy character but yeah uh, as you can see here we got ourselves our coins. He is right now. He is just kind of a golden version of the keeper. But as I said, he will get his own sprites eventually. The developer is planning on doing, and that was kind of close. Um, but yeah, we start with 33 coins. They did say it's advised to not go below 33 because he kind of starts off already a little weaker on 33. So we'll try and get some extra money first. Wow. Okay, that's a pretty considerable size up for five cent. Okay. This is, this is going to be interesting. I'm excited for this guy. Oh, God, that was close. I'm trying to activate this haunted chest. Probably not the best idea to activate it during combat, but it gave us ghost bombs, baby. It gave us ghost bombs. Right, these guys are taking a bit of a beating. This champion especially is taking a lot to go down. But yeah, this character seems really exciting. And this is by the same person that made the playable Delirium character that we also showcased recently so i have a very high quality modder the sprites on delirium especially were incredible um so anything that's going to be of that caliber coming when this character fully releases i'm definitely down for so let's try and do our coin toss here we love out a coin obviously it lowers our stats a bit these coins can be of various different types just like the ones in the actual game can be oh it follows us between rooms as well I think it just randomly uh, moves around. I don't think it aims for enemies. But I think there's like bomb ones that can um, throw bombs at enemies. There's heart ones that you can drop extra HP. Lots of good stuff. We'll see if we can find our item room here. Yeah, I don't know exactly how often I want to be using that. I think maybe... Ooh, we did drop some coins there on getting hit. I think maybe I want to be um, trying to save... There's a penny. I want to be trying to save some of that for the boss potentially i'm not exactly sure what's going to be the best course of action i'll be honest i'm definitely noticing that our stats are a little weaker but it, honestly with what the money that we've got right now they're really not too bad they're, it's just the speed that i'm mainly noticing all right so we got this that's really really good uh stars card we'll take a high priestess here and we'll actually check out the shop as well Honestly, I was just about to say, bombing our donation machine would be super useful. Um, we've actually got a really good item here for most characters, but for this guy, it's genuinely awful. Do you know what? I will bomb this once just to see if we get any good items. Now, remember, we really shouldn't under any circumstances. You know what? I will gamble on this. Um, we really shouldn't... Oh, Golden Penny. You see? It's worth it. Shouldn't under any circumstances be buying items at full price unless we have a lot of money. Come on, Golden Penny. Take me to 50 cent. If you can send me straight to 50 cent, I'll be super happy. And I don't mean the human being. Damn it. We got close. Right. Let's continue onwards. Secret room is potentially to our right here. I think it's here. There it is. Hello, hello. Come on, magic mush. Come on, you magic mush. That's a lot of pills. I'll take all the pills. I'll take all the pills. Paralysis. Great one to start. <laughs> health up, which is awesome. Pretty fly. And another health up. Very, very positive experience there. So I will just pop High Priestess here, but I'll try and use my coins a little more often later on. Oh, I thought I'd missed that then. I thought he was going to jump at the exact moment. 
Uh, we got Silver Ring here, slight damage multiplier, little bit of a damage up. Quite a powerful item to get from a boss, to be honest. Uh, any sort of multiplier is always going to be a pretty strong thing to get from a boss pool. Not sure how I feel about that, but it's fine, it's fine. Anyways, we'll move on. We've got quite a lot of money now, so our stats are looking pretty good. I, I do want to try and use our um, coin hearts a little more often. So this one's going to be, as, as you can see here, a bomb heart. The detonation on that was quite long, but saying that... Oh, by the way, this, this synergizes with ghost bombs. Nice, we get ghost chips. Uh, it's, yeah, the detonation time was quite long, but on the other side of that... Ooh, do you know what? See, I don't know. Is Libra a good idea here? Because it balances all our stats, which I think will be a damage down. Uh, but if every coin gives us a stat up, but they, they're already an all stats up. I'm going to gamble on it and just take it. I missed out on one of my favorite items. That's, that's a bit sad. At the minute, it's been a damage and fire rate down, so not great. We'll pop another one of them. So the regular coins seem to be a little more common, at least so far. Also... They don't seem to, um, the coins don't seem to disappear, which is nice, which for some reason I thought they would. Uh, we can get in here for free. I think bombing this is a great idea. Yeah, so I don't really know how Libra's interacting with this, I'll be honest. I imagine pretty weirdly. I'm going to buy this soul hatch to see how much, it only gives you two coins. That's a bit cheap. I thought it was at least going to give me five. Maybe, it, maybe it's random. It might not always give you the same amount. But butt bombs with ghost bombs is going to be so useful for us here. But yeah, as you can see, we have defaulted back to the keeper's visuals right now. That is going to be the case for this video, at least. Like I said, that will be updated. Beautiful. Get another one of these cardboard boxes from the same creator, actually. The, uh, the custom chests there are from the same creator as this character. So good to see them. And I'll throw a few greed coins here. I don't know what the key one does. Maybe that opens doors. It does. You, 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 I don't think there's any way to specifically get the one that you want. So for opening doors, it might not be super useful. I don't know. I kind of feel like at least so far, I'd almost always rather... Okay, that's a nice stat up there. I'd almost always rather just have the all stats up. I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. I'll see how I feel about that. Yeah, I feel like I feel like using the the greed coins. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say so far. I'll have to wait until I get later into this episode. So far, I really like the character, and I do like the coin toss. I just feel like the the balance between the coin toss um, and the all stats up that you get from having money is a little dubious. I feel like a lot of the time you'd rather keep the all all stats up, but I might be wrong on that account. I might be incorrect there. I might be uh, thinking about it a little narrow minded, which is why I said we need to kind of wait a little bit deeper into the video. Sadly, two coins there that we cannot get. Okay, we'll check this out. Saw blades. Um, yeah, saw blades are always fun. Better than E. coli, definitely. Nice. Got a double mimic chest there. I'm not particularly going for any boss in particular here. I'm not trying to go mother or anything. At the minute, I'm just trying to utilize my uh, my ghost bombs as much as possible here. And my saw blades. But the more money we get, the better. Getting something like Humbling Bundle from the shop would be very good. So, obviously getting Libra did give us a bunch of keys and extra bombs. So, hopefully we can utilize that to garner ourselves a little more. There's some money. We've been getting a little bit more of this floor than we have previously. We've got the cell phone here. Unfortunately, we, we can't really buy a shop item unless it's guaranteed to garner us more shop items. Sorry, more money in the future, I think. I think that's kind of my my bar to entry, at least so far. Saw blades. I, I really like how we look right now. Our visuals are great. The saw blades are very, very nice. Go for our boss. So I am going to I am gonna use a few coins here, especially a bomb coin. One bomb coin might even be enough. Yeah. Wow, the radius on that thing's massive, though. That's a, that's a, I think that's the equivalent of a gigabomb. Uh, we'll go, we'll go this floor. It's the equivalent of a gigabomb, but it doesn't destroy any of the ground, which is interesting. We're definitely going to have to be careful if one of those spawns. 
But yeah, I don't know, maybe maybe Libra is, is messing with this character's uh, stats in unintended ways. I don't actually know. I think it'll be fine, though, for the most part. I can't imagine it's causing too much tomfoolery. Ooh, wait, what's this? Payback later. I don't know if that means we can steal from the shop, because that'd be perfect. But I think that just more so means we can buy shop items if we don't have enough money. Which is the second one of those items we've got on one run. But yeah, this is all already a really cool run. But yeah, how have you guys been liking the modded character showcases? I've been trying to bring them back a little bit. They were gone for a little while. And I've been trying to bring them back into focus. Especially like while people like uh, the creator of this mod here um, are offering me to do some early showcases and stuff. I'm always welcome and happy to do that if people want me to. Good, good. Health is looking pretty decent. We did lose our devil deal here. Hello, Mr. Bomb friend. How are you today? Oh, I was really hoping that Gigabomb would like open a secret room or something there. Really? He curved the rock around the corner? Do you know what? This is a perfect room for some of these bad boys. Perfect room. My sword blade should take care of these little fellas, though. Oh, he wasn't. I thought he was dead. He wasn't. Plus, Enter's healing is up, though. Don't worry. Plus, Enter's keeping us going. We'll keep pushing onwards. I'm going to use a... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to use a coin. Just because some of them stick with us through rooms. It feels like a good idea. Oh, my God. I just lost a lot of stats there. That was not good. I got hit a lot there. Hello, sir. Please get away from me. Okay, oh my god. This is a risky room. I like it, though. It's a cool design. I am not a fan of this room. It's an interesting design. It, like, reveals the, uh, the grimaces as the enemy shoot at things. That's kind of cool. Akeldama, we'll go for random here. The Onk is, of course, not very good. Akeldama was just kind of like, whatever. It was so, so. I should go, I should really go and get the coin. I can't afford not to. Like, it's kind of, I wonder what having money equals power does for this guy. I wonder if it, like, supercharges the amount of damage he gets. Obviously, it wouldn't with Libra. Just generally. I'm just getting hit a lot at the minute. A Zealot Heart, nice. Smelter's definitely tempting. Thank you. If we can keep the Zealot Heart alive, that'd be great. I probably shouldn't have actually picked it up yet, to be honest. Would have been a better idea to leave it be. Okay. Uh, we've seen everything we need to see this for. Let's just go. Oh, we got Clutch, which, honestly, for one, we got Champion Clutch. But Clutch probably isn't great, because I am not familiar with Clutch's attack patterns in the slightest. Yeah, there you go. I've already been hit. My Zealot Heart is, is thinning. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, my Zealot Heart's gone. I don't know how to fight this guy. <laughs> not only is this a boss that I've only fought once, but this is a champion version from a mod. So I have no idea what's going on right now. I also keep hitting myself with my bombs. Give me explosive immunity. That'd be good. Okay, I think we've got him into his next phase. We do. Ooh, he's hard. He's a tough cookie. I do like him, though. We carry on. HP is looking very good, considering how badly that looked like it just went. I'm going to quickly, 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 quickly check for a secret room just here, because I'm fairly convinced it's there. There you go. And... This will give us safe passage. I can get both. I'm gonna get both. I know that we don't have any reason to use placebo pill yet, and it did cost us two hearts, but I don't know. I feel like it could be kind of fun. Second secret room. I'm not sure about. Let's go down to the next floor. I took a risk going to the um, going to the the mines here. I'm gonna go back down to the regular floors after this. Just utilize these to the best of our ability. Ah. Sawblades, save me. 
I don't know if Saw Blade's chance to fire scales with luck, by the way. Maybe it does, but luckily this guy doesn't start with really low. It seems a little sad to only get two coins. I think it should be between two and five, maybe. Because I think five guaranteed is a bit much, but between two and five would be nice. That'd be a nice little bit of, bit of balancing there. Just so it doesn't feel quite as bad to get a Soul Heart. But yeah, I feel like with my current money, I'm just not really that inclined to use my Greed's coin right now. I feel like maybe having the rates of you gaining money be a little quicker would be better. Or maybe the stats not being quite as potent from when you actually get coins. Just so it's not as big of a kick to your stats. Ooh, baby. That's some money. Come on, pills. Where are you? We saw so many of you before. We saw a bunch of health up pills before. Now... And got diddly squat. I will indeed destroy that. Oh, it blew up my... I, it's so annoying that I've removed my bomb. It's worth it because the mod is really good, but still. Okay, we're up to 72 coins now. Good. Beautiful. Oh, you are uh, going for the, the suicidal approach. Well done. Uh, excuse me? I got hit twice then? Really? Can I get this by any chance? Did that saw blade just push that bomb away? Are you kidding me? There you go. Every little helps right now. Oh my god, the hands! Stop with the hands, please. Keep getting hit by them. I'm actually on really low health right now. I have the Onkers backup, but I'd really rather not use it on a character showcase. <laughs> Just use the stunning ability of the poops to help us out. Okay. Ah, I, I did for some reason I didn't consider this room was combat, even though it very clearly is. I need to be careful, because the saw blades can knock our bombs around. Yeah, that's causing significant issues. <laughs> There's a pill. It's a speed up, which is an all stats up. Wait, it's a six room charge for a speed up? I mean, I suppose a speed up regularly would be pretty good. In our situation, it's a lot better than... By the way, this better not be a bloody burn hand again. It is. Luckily, it didn't screw us over this time, but it didn't die, so it's got another chance to screw me. I just stop with the stupid homing. <laughs> they hit me literally every time, and I'm sure people are saying, well, why don't you move out the way? It's shush. Big shush. Big shush for you. Deceiver heart. Sometimes shoot a stream. Okay, that's actually pretty bad. Waspel is whatever. I don't know how good that is. Um, I will take this. I know it's a bit of a stats down, but these could be very good. We got two Soul of Maggie's, which I think is actually pretty useful because surrounds Isaac with a bubbling red aura for the current room. Enemies kill, drop half red heart, disappears. Okay, so we'll go use that for now. Really? A room with two enemies? Exactly what I was hoping for when I went to use this. Gotta wait for the spikes every time. I don't even know why I went this way. I don't want to do the boss yet. I want to try and use the soul of Maggie to get some hearts first. It's a little annoying that we found it so late. Let's go and try this room. Even if it's, a, like, a few enemies. If it's any more than one, I'm just going to go for it. And, of course... I was going to say I missed out on one of the hearts. I didn't, actually. I thought I was, I thought I was going to. Secret room... Oh, we already found normal secret room. We just look for the second. Hmm. Second secret room's a little dubious here. I don't actually know where it would be. Okay, so this time we take in Soul of Isaac. Ow. 
And we potentially use that on a Devil Deal or something. We could farm up coins on these guys, actually. Because hitting their body segments that are immune still provides us with coins for some reason. Beautiful. Be a little cautious here. Got it. Meat is pretty good. I like that. I'll take meat. Check this out. Boy, oi, 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 oi. I think we send it on both of these. Health is not good. I, do you know, I sent it on both of those and didn't think about the fact we get we don't get any soul hearts. That was maybe not the smartest decision I've ever made. Do I want to carry this soul of Isaac or the speed up pill? Honestly, soul of Isaac. The speed up pill's fine, but we need something with a much lower charge. Six room charge is just a bit too much. I know once every six rooms for an all stats up really is pretty fucking good. But, whatever. <laughs> I think even with the health run right now, we should be pretty okay. I'm a little scared for the womb. Yeah, I, I completely didn't consider the fact that, oh yeah, we no longer have the ability to actually have soul hearts. Death. I'm just going to use the death card here. And now we've got Incubus, we should hopefully be producing more coins, which means we can use Greed's coin a little more. Sad that the key one doesn't have any combat use. I feel like because it's random which one you get, it's kind of hard to use the key one effectively unless you want to potentially waste a lot of money. Unless they come out in an order and I just haven't noticed. They might come out in a very specific order, you might be able to plan for it. Um, I don't know what hit me there. No idea what hit me. Also, Runaway Heart. No thank you, Runaway Heart. But so far, I'm really enjoying this guy. I definitely th think it's good that I'm testing it a little early, because I think there's a few tweaks and balancings that could be done to make him a little more enjoyable. You, I, honestly, I'm going to take Yum Heart. Like, we've been having health issues, and we can't take... Um, we can't take... Any sort of... Soul Heart Health. I'm a little surprised that this guy doesn't have any form of coin HP. Because I know that you can have coin and red HP. So I'm, I'm surprised he doesn't have any form of coin HP at all. But then again, it would be quite powerful to have both. So I, I understand it from that aspect. There's a trinket from Repentance Plus that gives you one coin heart. It's really powerful, so... I can kind of understand it thinking about that. This is a really horrible little room here, isn't it? Where you at, ghosty boy? Good, good. Yeah, I think with four hearts, I really ought to just stick to Yum Heart and hope for the best. Placebo pill is, like, potentially so good for us as well, but Yum Heart, it's way more security. We had basically... Our only security prior was essentially Placenta, which I feel like relying on Placenta is a fool's game. An absolute fool's game. I'm liking the amount of saw blades we've got going on here. I'm also liking the saw blade sprites are varied. They're not always the same one. Um, I think I'm going to take... I'll t no, I'll take Polaroid. I'll take Polaroid. Should have taken those. Uh, uh, there isn't anything I like here. I'm going to risk it and soul on here, just in case there's one item that is just unbelievably good. Sadly, there is not a single one that's unbelievably good. They're all just meh. Right, let's go down to the next floor. I am, uh, Yeah, I'm really liking this character. Definitely one that I could see adding to the roster. He's got definitely a vanilla feel to him, but also quite a lot of uniqueness as well. 
Bomb... I, I, this might be a terrible idea. Oh, God. Okay, no. I was maybe thinking bombs placed by Isaac explode quicker would affect our butt bombs. That it doesn't. Okay, I, I've just realized I'm taking full hit damage now. Um, that is not something I realized because I don't know why. I've been to the womb literally a thousand times. I don't know why that was such a big surprise to me, but it was. I can see forever. I'll hold another one of those as well, actually. That is an immortal heart. We need that. <laughs> we can't have immortal hearts. Savage. Savage. It's probably because in the code they technically count as a spirit heart. Probably shouldn't have picked that up on air. Only missing half a heart. That was a bit of a waste. Honestly, my saw blades are guaranteed going to carry a bomb directly into my face at some point soon. I can just see it coming. Ow. Luckily, Yumheart just charged. Yeah, Yumheart's going to be so clutch for us, I think. It's going to be very, very top tier. Hello, sir. I am you. <laughs> no, I'm not. But I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of your dad. Not really what I wanted. Um, doesn't that's as good as an I can see forever for the next floor. Actually, yeah. Do you know what it is? It is. It's, it's, it's actually quite a lot better. I'm gonna take it. Being able to undo a room seems very good if things go severely wrong, which I can just wholeheartedly imagine right now. There are a lot of rooms that could go very wrong for us. Honestly, Butt Bombs has been the carriest of carries right now. That plus Ghost Bombs. I mean, Ghost Bombs, it doesn't deal that much damage, but it is still doing a significant amount to health. It's the stunning, really, though, that's carrying. We got ourselves a shop. I think we have an item room as well. Now, now, the question is, do we want guaranteed glowing hour hourglass effect? What's better? I don't actually know what's better. I feel like glowing hourglass is better overall. I think we have an item room as well. Like it's a, it's a, it's a three room charge and it is effectively like a one heart heal that can that can potentially heal even more. So I feel like it's got the potential to be a lot better. You're dead. And you. Hello. A mum's chest. I mean, our pills have been pretty good so far, so I will take, like, a health up pill. Don't know any of these pills. Oh, no, we know we know the speed up. I'll take a speed up. The rest of them, they are unknown to me. Uh, I'm going to quickly go and backtrack a little bit, because I, I feel like the trinket silver dot... Wait, no. Let me, let me actually check. Is silver dollar just the shop? I think it's bloody crown that's the, uh you want, isn't it? It's literally just shops. Okay. Good to know. Interesting that you'd add more shops considering I feel like you very rarely want to spend money as this guy. I feel like it's like a pretty bad idea to spend money unless it's on a shop item that's going to garner you more money later, which is what I was saying, like humbling bundle and the like, which I suppose it's good to be able to try and seek out those items a little more often. Sty is pretty good for us here. Let me carry on down. Health is icky. Health is icky. This is probably the lowest health I've had going into Womb 2 in a, in a little while here. But I feel like our health isn't true. Like, we have the health that we have, yes. But technically we have more because of Glowing Hourglass. Like, we have more health than we visually have, you know what I mean? Because we can undo a lot of mistakes. I'm going to play this out. I'm not going to bother using Glowing Hourglass yet because we've, we've only been hit once. If I get hit twice, then it's definitely a no-go. But once, I think I can let the mistake ride and hopefully just pick up a heart somewhere. Good, good. I'm sure it'll come to us along the way. I'm going to keep the reverse card 
Honestly, having another charge of Glowing Hourglass in the pocket is really good. I think I'm just going to bomb here. And there you go. We got a heart back. I'll bomb you as well for some money, maybe. Accidentally spent some on you. Oh, wait, what? We got something from that. I don't know. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. We got hit, but do not fret. We have more HP here. Should have probably put ourselves at a half hour interval, to be honest. But oh well. Need to be careful. I haven't been hit by my own bomb one shit, I don't think. I need to be very vigilant of that potential to occur. I could maybe maybe go back for the hanged man and make it take advantage of this room but i don't know about that tier detonator would be pretty strong right now i will say okay this is a horrible room i hate this room this room appears fairly often and it's just like an onslaught of hands. You always think there's none left and there's still one. Also, don't pull bullshit like that on me game. Don't put a troll bomb on with, with spikes either side of me. That's just evil. We're almost at 99 cent now, which means we can probably pop our, um, our greed's coin a little more often. But then again, I'm really liking the stats we have right now. I'm liking hoarding. Yeah, the, 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 the current balance problem I see, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say it's a balance problem, it's more of a gameplay problem. It's just, I feel like the incentive to use Greed's coin is low. I'd rather stack up and, and like, keep a lot of money to get stats and only really use it once I'm at 99. Which I'm at now, so I can start using Greed's coin now a little more often. But I want, like, the full benefit of the stats. So we got a key there. That's a bomb one. This one's silver. Oh, wasn't the other one gold? Beautiful. And we shall go up and up and up. Still a little worried. My HP could get me into a into a lot of trouble here. But I feel like things are going reasonably well. It even lasts to the next floor. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, God. I, I'm surprised that guy didn't hit me then. Did we go the right way? The age-old question. And the answer is no. <laughs> okay, champion horn actually not too bad. It's more these turrets that I'm worried about. Yeah, definitely some balancing with the hearts and how much money they give. I feel like being able to get more money would incentivize me to use the coin more. Also, I don't know, maybe, maybe it might take some reworking, but maybe making it function similarly to Blue Baby, where when you, when you pick up a coin... It gives you, like, you can you can keep nine. Is that how, like, he gets the little poop pickups? Maybe instead, like, when he picks up a coin, he gets one of the throwable ones that costs some money to throw, like, five cent or something, uh, or two cent. I, I, don't, I don't know how you want to price it, but... And then you can, like, keep some in the backlog, and then you then you can use Greed's coin to hold one sort of thing. I know that's t uh, maybe a bit too similar to Blue Baby. Maybe not exactly that. But I think a system like that would incentivize use a little more, at least in my opinion. I just don't want to see a really cool feature go to waste, you know? I want to see it utilized. Good. That bomb tried to get me. These piercing saw blades are awesome. Hanged man. Key back. And mum's ring. Mum's ring's fantastic. Mum's ring is fantastic. That's a lot of explosions. 
And yet there's still more explodey boys on the screen somehow. Is that it? That's it. Okay, boss time. We shouldn't have too bad of an issue against this guy. Just be very careful of our placed butt bombs. I am going to continue to try and place them because I feel like the confusion and damage they output is very useful. But I feel like of, of any fight, this is one of the fights where I could easily hurt myself with it the most. Just because the amount of saw blades, small room, all that good jazz. Good. I think we've pretty much destroyed this guy. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, pop in here. Boom. Oh, tier game's so fun. That's good. That's whatever. That's okay. Tier game is going to give us a random tier effect every time we kill an enemy. It can give you some real bad ones, I'll say that, but it can also give you some real fun ones, so. I think it's, for the most part, it's pretty good. Sometimes it's bad. Getting a lot of uh, lag here, I don't know why. Another speed up, we'll take it. Reverse card, no you. For some reason, I thought it used my reverse card then. I was a bit scared. Not that I probably need it, but it's, I just want to have it. Getting a lot of Hanged Man cards here. And now we got Fire Mind. I love the look of this dude. The, the horn resprite there is so good. Haha! -ha. Meet my greed coin, you greedy bastards. Have at it. Beautiful. Ooh. That would be very good if we had a reason to. But we kind of don't right now. Maybe giving him some... I... I think maybe rebalancing the stats and giving him deep pockets or something similar where it increases coin count could work. I think I've got Strange Attractor right now. Um, yeah, I think I think rebalancing the how much stats you get given and giving him like 99 coins to start and then having like him tap out uh, 99 coins to start or 100 coins to start, let's say. And then he, and that's when that's when he has slightly lower than their than base stats, and him like tapping out at like um, triple damage at a thousand. So it's kind of hard to get there. You don't gain that many stats over, but I feel like that would, for one, have I mean there's more ways to get money and more ways to spend it on your coin toss because obviously with deep pockets you spawn money on room clears sometimes. Maybe. I don't know, maybe not giving the exact item that is Deep Pockets and maybe just the 999 coin effect. But also, yeah, I feel like, for one, it wouldn't make money pointless after a certain time. And two, yeah, I feel like it could just mean I'd probably use my Greed Coin a lot, lot more. Just throwing it to get a stats down, if it doesn't do that much damage, just feels bad. But, I really love the idea, and I think this is a very, very cool custom character. I'm really looking forward to seeing where this one goes. I'm just trying to give constructive criticism as to how I would personally improve it. But there you go. A winning run. We'll end this one out. And yeah, have a good old time. I hope you guys enjoyed this showcase. And I'll see you guys in the next one.